Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and uh, today I bring you an unbooking, as I like to call them, of uh, Ghoul Island. is uh, the first in Sandy Peterson's Cthulhu Mythos series of adventures for the fifth edition compatible book that came out to Kickstarter to an immense success and annoyingly enough I missed it. Uh, rule for, for what? Bringing Cthulhu to fantasy, but are these books actually worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on them? Well, I'm about to tell you. Welcome to the GMS Magazine and booking videos. You see, we think about bringing Cthulhu games onto a game like 5th edition and some people say, because investigation and the combat and so on and so forth. But, but, look, we're talking about Sandy Peterson here, okay? We're talking about the person who started the Call of Cthulhu game. If he knows something, he knows Cthulhu, probably personally. So I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I had to, because also, um, I have to say, thank you so, so much to my friend who sent me these two books in the post just so I could take a look at them, which is absolutely wonderful because I was gagging to look at them. Okay, um, these adventures are a monthly release that um, very much in a line like the Pathfinder Adventure path. Um, it's meant to give you, over a number of issues, a big full campaign. And these are two of the first ones that have come out. Gaul Island is the name of the campaign, and we have Act 1, Voyage of Farzine, 2 Farzine, and Act 2, uh, Gulocracy. There are another two that I don't have, obviously, uh, for this campaign. Now, what is the production like? Because, to be honest, I don't know much about the plot other than when Eric Scott the B uh, read it, he liked it so much that he wrote a novel about it. Now, I trust Eric implicitly, so this must be pretty, pretty good. So, what are the books like? Let's take a look. Um, they are, you know, letter size books, hardcover, which is quite hard and quite covers with an absolutely beautiful illustration of an incredibly friendly and welcoming looking deep one on a boat that's uh, been likely sunk or is flying somewhere or is doing something really mysterious and fascinating. I, I, I would love to find out what it is. I'm gonna have to read this. But I like the deep one because they are adorable. And in the back, we have a truly evocative and gorgeous illustration. I have to say, if I move this a little bit, you may be able to see, hopefully, yes. Yep, exactly. We have one of these plastic inks that make part of the cover shine and look fascinatingly gorgeous. The printing is so sharp, the color is so vibrant, and this feels so solid in my hands, which is absolutely wonderful. What do we have inside though? Well, inside, I was saying stretch. I like this person, I want to get to know him. Right, firstly we have a very detailed uh, table of contents, which I very much appreciate. I like this sort of thing because it obviously it makes it easier to, to jump from one place to another, but also it gives us a very good idea as to what the um, Organization of the book is and how long the campaign or the, the story is going to be for this particular book. And we have one act, uh, 1 1.4, uh, 2, 4, and an appendix. And we have, uh, sorry, uh, the storm, mutiny, the mutineers dilemma, and then investigation. Everything seems to be very detailed, which is lovely uh, because it's also telling you. Um, how to run the campaign and where everything is. It seems to have been very well thought out. The layout is beautiful, <clears throat> very simple, very nice. Love the background 
watermark, uh, which is lovely. It's, it's visible, not so much that it becomes annoying to the eye. The illustrations are fantastic, every single one of them. I mean, the cartography is lovely. Let's find another illustration. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful in every way. Ah, look at him. Look at him. Who wouldn't want to be friends with this? Who wouldn't want to be friends with this? Come on. Come on. People, be serious. So um, the whole thing, I'm not going to go page by page because, come on, that would be a bit too much. Um, the whole thing is incredibly well produced, which is what you would expect. Now, is this worth the amount of money you have to pay to get your hands on it? For me, unfortunately, it's not for one reason and one reason alone, which is postage. This costs, if you buy it in a store, each one of these is going to cost you $25. It's a little bit of money, I have to say, and although monthly, on a monthly basis is not huge, it's a fair amount of money. If you subscribe, however, and have it shipped, then it costs $19.99, which is great if it wasn't because I live in a country where the shipment would put the whole thing on $30. Ouch. Big ouch. And why do I say big ouch? Because, my dears, if I come here and take a look at one of the Pipe Fanta ones, which I've been collecting since the very, very beginning of this, it's about the same, but it is soft cover. And with the discount, including shipment, I pay less than $20 for this in my house from the US. It's a massive difference. Yes, I appreciate the hardcover. It is wonderful and it's going to last, you know, this is something that I'm going to be able to give to my niece uh, for, for, for the inheritance when I die in about 100 years time or something. But it puts it completely out of my reach because for $30, ouch, ouch, I can buy a whole game for $30. So, is the postage. I understand this is nothing to do. $20 for this is amazing value. Absolutely amazing value for money. And I would highly, highly recommend it. So if you live in a country where this is not something that is going to break the bank because shipping, definitely were worth it. I would go for it. But if not, I'm afraid that this needs better distribution to reach to more places so I can decide which one of these two I want to keep. But for now, because $17.99 in my home, nearly $30 in my home, I'm afraid of pies of wings. But this is wonderful. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And uh, please do let me know what you think. Let me know your comments down there if you have played this. And if you actually like, you know, Sandy Peter and Cthulhu Mythos for 5th edition, let me know because I know a lot of people are going to be Cthulhu for fifth. Uh, so uh, I want to hear what you have to say. Thank you once again, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.